Today I will be reading 1 Thessalonians verse 5. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. In other words, this verse instructs us to have joy and be thankful at all times, no matter what we are going through. God wants us to look to him for joy because only in him do we find joy. The Lord will bless us with many things in our lives as well as put many trials in front of us, but he always has our best interest in mind and he would never give us anything more than we could handle. It is often easier to be happy when things are going well within our lives and seek God only when things go wrong. However, he wants us to seek him at all times and to thank him at all times. So I encourage you all today to have joy in any situation, good or bad and to thank the Lord for all circumstances he places you in because he knows it will bring you out stronger. My next verse will be 2 Corinthians verse 7. Now I am glad I sent it, not because it hurts you, but because the pain caused you to repent and change your ways. It was the kind of sorrow God wants his people to have, so you were not harmed by us in any way. God oftentimes sees that we are too enveloped within our own sins to notice him trying to get our attention. So he may send adversity to us and put us in tough situations so that we may call on him and turn from our sin. This is not meant to harm us in any way, but acts as a sort of a wake-up call to guide us back on the right track of the Lord. The next time God sends adversity your way, stop and think about where you could have gone wrong. Was he trying to get my attention all this time? Remember, nothing the Lord puts before you is meant to hurt you and it will not be anything more than we can handle. He loves us and wants only the best for us. My last verse is Hebrews 12, verse 11. No discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's painful. But afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. So take a new grip with your tired hands and strengthen your weak knees. Mark out a straight path for your feet so that those who are weak and lame will not fall but become strong. This verse reaffirms that the Lord will only put before you things that are meant to help and strengthen you. During these trials, you may not feel the best, but in the end, when he brings you out of it, you will emerge much stronger than before with a new understanding of God's love. Be joyful in the good times and the bad, because you never know when the Lord is testing you.